Hey, what's up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Nikkei Goddess of Victory video. Alright, if you guys are not aware, today uh, they announced the new character, the new banner, the next one that everybody has been talking about, which is Helm. Alright, so I'm sure you guys have, you know, heard other people talking about this. If you guys have been following the social media, either on a Discord, Reddit, Facebook or whatever, right? So a lot of people are really excited for Helm, but I have some news for you guys as well regarding the other two characters that perhaps might be coming as well uh which i do not know of the name yet so i'm gonna you know we're gonna take a look at all of them individually hopefully be excited uh but keep in mind none of these are final uh, some of these characters might get pushed back as well also if you guys are not aware there should be a temple uh, if you go to your mailbox i believe to celebrate the launch of the cost nichi i think everybody will be getting the free temple now uh, whether or not you want to be using it is going to be up to you but i do think that using this should be fine uh, because recruit voucher like you can see right now you can only use them in ordinary recruit that means standard banner etc so these tickets you will not be able to use them in the the new other banner that will perhaps come later on because most likely the new banner is going to be using this thing called the advanced recruit voucher this rainbow looking ticket and yeah you might have to buy this with uh premium currency etc etc regardless let's talk about helm Okay, so big shout out to this channel, DBUW. So we got some hell footage right here that we can check out and hopefully, you know, give you guys an idea. Now, as you guys see, no sound right here, but uh, I hope this is clear enough for you guys to be able to uh, observe her ability overall. So let's look at a couple of things. Uh, hopefully run through that again so this looks to me to be her ability so she stands on this menacingly ship and it looks like she's a sniper rifle like am I am I getting that straight so she's a sniper rifle uh, character and that's about the only footage that we will have now alongside with that a big shout out to a uh, flashy scope from the reddit so now this one uh is really interesting as well really exciting uh i don't know when this character will come but this is a preview of perhaps like a upcoming lead character as well uh seems really hype she is not helm for sure uh, i doubt her banner will be happening at the same time as helm but from what i gather from what i'm looking right now this is really good all right so it seems like she has an ability to shoot through the pulse uh she seems to be a Okay, I'm not sure what that's going to be similar to Assault Rifle, I'm guessing. Uh, it's like a cannon weapon. It's very unique, similar to Scarlet, where she's the only few that use a sword. But I think this character is also very interesting. Alright, so not sure if this is going to be the next character after Helm. I doubt both banners are happening at the same time. Uh, otherwise, we would have gotten more news of it. So most likely, she is going to be a future character as well. Also, big shout out to the Discord as well. Uh, I have a couple of uh, interesting ones. This is going to be an upcoming character. Uh, again, very, very good looking one. This is from X Dreamer. Love the design of this character overall. Extremely thick and it looks like uh, what seems to me like a mixture of a dragon design waifu overall. And it's from the back as well. So as you can see, uh, I am really excited for this game for sure, but unfortunately, the game is not perfect. All right, so there's still some issues that I wish that they would uh, address it. I know the game has just been out for a couple of days, but the biggest issue that I see players complain about is regarding the shop as well. Hopefully, they're gonna address that. Now, it's from this particular post right here. Uh, please note there's a big difference between regular gems and charge gems so you cannot use regular gems for the ssr guaranteed banner i have no idea why they made this so damn confusing now i don't know like uh this is definitely an issue that's worth talking about that's worth noting uh, especially when it comes to this particular banner so it's not uncommon for most companies to have maybe like a paid gem and free gem right but in this game not all paid gems are paid gems so that's the part that gets really confusing so if you guys are trying to be a pay to win in this game apparently not all of it is considered uh, as a paid one so the charge gems the ones that are on discount are not counted as a paid currency which is you know 
the purpose of these posts right here which is really annoying now you can see a uh, gems in special packs apparently don't count only gems that the gem shop that say charge on them uh yeah so this offer only applies to charge gems gems you have paid full price off so if there's any discounted gems that you have purchased in the packages those will not be counted uh which is r rather unfortunate right so if you want to be a pay to win in this game you gotta like be extra careful and like look out for which one is the charge gems which one is not uh can be a bit annoying like for me i'm still free to play i intend to stay that way uh, unless there's like a package that i really really want or a character that i really really want to get in the game but for now although i'm enjoying the game uh, it's really unfortunate that this is happening so hopefully can bring awareness to this issue if you guys are trying to be a pay to win or in any of the upcoming banners just please do an extra research uh please just be careful before you spend money all right so yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it as always if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel give this video a like and i will see you guys in the next one have a nice day good bye